girl Joy back with another Panga. Good morning, Vlogmas. <laughs> it is Vlogmas day nine. Oh my gosh, we are almost in double digits. Double digits. We are getting there. You know, I'm never excited to get to the 25th because ain't nothing going to be under the tree for me. And ain't much going to be under the tree for the kids. But I am enjoying the vlogs, so though. I am enjoying the vlogs. Before we get started with this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit your post notifications, honey, so you know the next time I upload a video, okay? So, I am in my bedroom. Sorry, this is how I'm feeling today, y'all. This is how I'm feeling, sis. I don't know, I might put on a baseball cap later, I'm not sure. But I was gonna go for a run and I decided I didn't feel like it. <laughs> so, um, my room smells so good, so good. And Sydney would not like it because I love like the um, fresh tree smell, like the pine tall, the pine, and Sydney hates it. So I have my candles going my little candles and then my burner over here and my little twinkle light so Sydney she hates the smell of this but I love it it puts me in a good mood it just smells so good so good so what are you guys up to today okay now yesterday I said I was gonna do my grades, put in three grades. I was gonna do the tree, I was gonna do this hunty. Let me tell you sis, let me tell you. I stayed in this bed and did not move. I think I went and got some snacks and then I came back to my bed. I stayed in bed so long my body started to ache. And then I dozed off, woke up, dozed off, then the, the, whatever show I was watching was watching me. I don't remember nothing, nothing that I watched child. So, but today I decided to show you my miniature closet. It's mini. It's barely walk through. You can't even walk in it, okay? But I said I would show you. I said I would show you. I still haven't done a house tour, but you guys have kind of seen our whole house. So, there's really nothing to show you guys, really. I still want to put curtains up downstairs. Hmm. But I, it's early. No, it's not that early. I'm about to make me some breakfast. It is 10:24. Sis, let me tell you what happened. Hold on. Is that one better? Is that one better, y'all? That other hat was making me hot. Maybe I should put my black one on. Put my little sideburns down. Cause I gotta do a food video. Anyway, I went in Bobby's room. Knock, 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 knock. This morning, right? And I was like, well, Bobby, you know, I'm not stressing you. I'm not stressing you. I was like, well, do you want to put up the little tree later? We could do it together. Yes? What do you think? No answer. I said, okay, no pressure, no pressure. Just put it out there, but, you know, I don't mind doing it myself. I don't mind. And I tiptoed on out the door. Yes, I did. So now, I'm trying to upload a video. I'm uploading a video. Sometimes it... Sometimes it takes a long time and sometimes it doesn't. So I don't know. I'm confused. So this day eight is not going to get uploaded for a minute because it's taking its sweet time. And it's a little video. So I, I just don't understand it. It should not take an hour and 40 minutes to upload a 10 minute video. Do you have an answer for that? I don't. So anyway, let me take you inside my closet. I'm telling you guys, it is not small. Don't judge me. But I said I would take you in. So let me take you in. Because I said what I said and what I said is what I do and what I do is what I say. Well, not really because I sure didn't put no grades in last night. I ain't do nothing. Kitchen is a mess. So I'm going to try to go downstairs and tackle the kitchen. I already come out of my bedroom. But it's great. And I did open my curtains. Right. I can't have my curtains closed on Sunday because it will totally throw me off. But Friday, I might close them so I can sleep in on Saturday. But, um, no, I have to open them on, on Sundays. And it's cozy. I like it when it's nice, dark, and cozy. I had a very lovely do-nothing, I don't give a beep day yesterday. 
we were gonna make hamburgers didn't even make the hamburgers because nobody wanted to go get buns i didn't want to go and bobby didn't want to go see i don't feel like it well neither do i how about that <laughs> so I, I haven't even done any exercise this week that's terrible, but I'll be on my A game next week for sure to make up for this week. And, hunty, I am ready for breakfast. I'm making me some shrimp and grits. Yes, and I'm going to eat that on my, on my channel because I've been neglecting that channel. So, shrimp and grits that I'm going to have for, I guess, is brunch because it's 1028. So, by the time I get that going, it's going to be late. Oh, I love sh I love grits and I love shrimp and grits together. Hmm, I'm not gonna do any eggs, just the shrimp and grits. Good, good. I wish I had some asparagus, but who's going to the store for that? Not me. All right, let's get going. So I'm burning this candle. You guys have already had a tour. Look, look at this. Oh, here's the one. I gotta put my little sideburns down, y'all. That's what I gotta do. Do y'all know I got little tiny ears? I have like the smallest ears on the planet. They're cute. They're tiny. Sometimes I wish they stuck out a little bit. What you think? Some people be getting them ears pinned back, child. Surgically. Mm -hmm. And I try to want mine to stick out a little. <laughs> Don't pay me no mind. Don't pay me any mind. Okay. Welcome to my closet. How about we have 110 questions with Joy? okay guys this is my closet it is not neat my closet is always neat so this is what's happening here i have my sweaters and stuff up here sydney likes to dig up here and pull stuff down and sh it's not neat stuff of fringes be hanging out sleeves be hanging out and makes my nerves bad and i was like no somebody been in my closet and then I got little sweatshirts that I just, I don't know, I put that there. I do like the wooden hangers. I do need more wooden hangers. All my hangers have to be wooden. But um, I went to Walmart one day. They ran out. So, you know, until I can replenish my hangers. Um, you know, I work with what I have. But my, I do have to have wooden hangers. And some people think I'm lying when I say I have a lot of black blazers. I do. So I'm not always wearing a black blazer. And I have four blazers in the cleaners. So I have a total of 22 blazers. <laughs> so, um, but I, I don't have any reds. Red is not my favorite color. So I don't have any reds. Um, I have these little jackets here that I absolutely love. You guys seen these before. This one, this is cute. But, ooh, guys, that fell down. I have to fix that. I am not a purse addict. I do terrible with bags. Terrible with bags. I've had this one for over 20 years. That's Coach. This is my a Coach um, briefcase. It's I've had that for well over 20 years. And every time I go on an interview, I do take that one. I probably had this Gucci bag for 30 years. I had that when I was like early 20s or a teenager. I don't know. But it's, they're classic. I call them classics. This is a bag I got off of Just Fab for school that I've never used. Um, this one is a nice bag. I haven't been using it. And then, so these are all my blazes. I do need more color. I do. I know that. I know I need more color. <laughs> But I will kill a black blazer so much. And then down here, we have all my slacks that I rarely wear. Don't really wear my slacks as much as I probably could. I kind of gravitate to the same stuff all the time. On this, my dirty clothes bin. Which I'm waiting for, you know, for us to get our wash machine fixed before I wash. So these are all my slacks. I have a little bit of color. Some color. But I kind of wear the same stuff. And these are all my skirts. They're really long. Uh, all my little skirts. And I don't know. More skirts back here. These are doubled. Because I'm out of hangers. So a lot of them are doubled. Then on this side. These are my jeans. These are all my little jeans. A lot of my jeans have holes in them. And I can't wear those to school. So the girls will not mess with my jeans. They say they're too big for them. <laughs> but we all kind of wear the same size in the entire house. I think Bobby, she getting thick with two C's because she's a little muscular thing. This is my mom. 
this is my mom her ashes and this little doll is my favorite i've had her for well over 20 years i got that in jamaica with my first marriage and i just wanted that doll and she's just my favorite she's so cute she's just cute and i just love her and this is where i put this my hair drawer that's hair t-shirts under clothes t-shirts more stuff these are all my shorts that i do wear with blazers so i like my dressy shorts that i do wear with blazers and some of my handles are coming off don't worry about it and my friend gave me this for my birthday or housewarming i don't know i just always keep it in here some of my belts that i wear all the time i got three pair of adidas pants two are in the dirty clothes well one is in the dirty clothes i'm wearing one these are some miscellaneous shirts but i'm really a t-shirt girl so i'll throw it to once in a blue moon i'll throw some of these on these are the ones i always wrap around my waist <coughs> i got jean jean ones and i don't really do the dressy thing too much i don't these are some dresses uh, child you would be lucky you find me in a dress child that's oof. but you know if i'm in that mood that's what i wear and um a little basket i think i have down here sometimes i carry that bag and i don't know what's in here i don't know and these my sneakers i usually leave my sneakers downstairs i do meditate and i'll pull that out for that um and my ab exercises which i haven't done in a minute and then my robe my robe Bobby's supposed to sew my robe. She still hasn't sewn my robe. I don't know why she hasn't sewn my robe. I was, it was supposed to be done for my birthday. Maybe she'll get it done. But this is my favorite. This is like, this is, this is, this is, this is my, this is my other half. <laughs> I have to have my robe. <laughs> There's lots of stories with the robe. We just gotta leave it alone. We're gonna leave this robe alone. I have to have the robe all the time. <laughs> Even adult time. I have to have my robe. <laughs> so that is my little tiny closet tour. It's not much, but you know, it is what it is. It's, it's mine. And you know, I would love to grow my blazer collection with some, um, I would like to do some, what do you call this pattern, Bobby? Plaid, I would like to do a couple of plaid blazers. I do want it like a red, a few reds and so on and so forth to add more color into it. Cause I throw them on with jeans and sneakers and a t-shirt. Just have to have a blazer, but I do know I need a little more color. I'm trying to bring a little more color, but then at the same time, I'll, I'm also trying to purge. So I don't know if I'll take my blazer with me. I don't know, cause I'm trying to purge. Purge, so I have about a year and a half to purge. Pur like get rid of every, everything. But I don't know if I could let go of my blazers. You know, I'm still going to need clothes. So, it's not much, but it's mine. It'll do. And I need to wash clothes in my little basket. I got this cute little basket from Walmart. I think it was like $20. I loved it. And um, I would have put a picture of my mom in here, but she didn't fit. She didn't fit. I'm not big on photos and stuff throughout the house. But it's just not my thing. So, but she, I have a big portrait that somebody painted of her. It's a jail picture. Look her boot thing got it. Like, that's a whole nother story, a whole nother vlog. But, um, my robe, my robe is like my, what do you call it? Like a baby has to have that little blankie or that favorite thing. This is my robe. <laughs> Lots of stories with the robe. <laughs> so, at one point, there was a, a, a debate who would get the robe if I passed away. Who would get the robe? So, do you want the robe, Bobby? When I was with my ex, they would have got the robe. My ex would have got the robe. But now that we're not together, Bobby will get the robes. <laughs> so, hands down, the ex would have got it. But Bobby gets the robe. <laughs> <laughs> and it always smells like me and I go to bed smelling good every day so it always have, have this smell but hopefully I'll get it sewn one day hopefully I'll Jesus. get it sewn right Bobby thumbs up hope you enjoyed my little my little pimped out my little pimped out closet toy you know it's big you know I got I got a sofa up in here I got a sofa you know I got that big closet you know what I'm saying
not i am in my feelings right now y'all i am in my feelings i just did a whole little talking talk 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 and i wasn't even recording anyway check this out point blank period check this out those lights look pretty right those are some pretty lights right so what had happened was our Clinton did not troubleshoot the situation. And so I said, let me figure this out, okay, sis? Let me figure this out, because this is not cute. You know, sometimes you want your stuff lit up, and it puts you in a good mood. And then I got the fireplace going. We got this lit up, really cute. So, you know, I'm down here. I said, let me troubleshoot the tree, okay? Let me just set the whole mood. And Bobby's in her room. Sydney's not here. Clint's not here. It is so peaceful. It is wonderful. I wish I had some coffee. Oh, I haven't had coffee in a long time, sis. Oh my God, I wish I had a cup of coffee. Anyway, calm down. I'm getting to it, okay? Homeboy did not troubleshoot the tree problem. I figured out what the problem was. And sometimes you can have one bulb that's out that'll ruin the whole thing. I turned and twisted every bulb on here as I listened to my audio book, so peaceful. And couldn't figure it out, so I just took it off the tree. Took it off. And now we have a tree. I don't think I wanna add any more lights. I do have additional lights, not doing that. Not doing that. And um, I'm still waiting for my video to finish uploading. And I'm gonna probably eat me some pretzels <laughs> as I sit here and relax on the sofa because I'm waiting for my shrimp to defrost. I'm defrosting shrimp in some cold water before I can eat my shrimp and grits, okay? I'm hungry, Bobby's hungry. Neither one of us wanna run to the stove. <laughs> so we're just gonna work with what we have. And oh, I did bring my paper work downstairs i'm done with upstairs i did bring paperwork downstairs to grade but i want to eat first so i'm going to create my thumbnail for vlogmas day eight and listen to my audiobook and i'll start cooking then i'm going to change my water the shrimp water i do not feel like cleaning the kitchen the kitchen needs like a deep clean you know how you could surface clean something and then you know it really needs a deep deep nook and cranny and scrub clint doesn't do that clint will do a surface clean but it needs a, like a deep the stove needs a good scrubbing and you know you scrub underneath the ledge the cabinets the floors yeah clint doesn't think sweeping or mopping the floor is part of cleaning the kitchen so we have to have that conversation. <laughs> and I need to clean my bathroom. Maybe I'll do a clean with me for that one. I really need to scrub my bathroom down and um, get that going. And waiting for our washing machine to be repaired tomorrow. I'm so excited. As you saw in the video, I have a basket full of clothes to wash. All right, I'm going to enjoy this moment. Oh, I always gotta bring a cons. Hey, Connie. So Connie, how you doing doll? How you doing? I'm drinking my vitamin C, little packets he got me, and I put it in here. Child, don't tell nobody, but I added a packet of Splenda, so it'll make my drink feel like it's festive. I'm drinking something sweet for the holidays. <sighs> yes, this is the raspberry one that you sent me. It kind of has a, like a medicine-y aftertaste, but that's okay. That little Splenda helped a lot. Not Splenda. I use, um, it's not Splenda. I forgot what it's called, y'all. Don't worry about it. I forgot what it's called. Don't worry about it. But it's not Splenda. See, this is going to bother me. Hold on. Let's see what it's called. Let's see what it's called. Okay, sis. You know, I'm going to look out for y'all. I could get up. I could get up. Stevia. That's what it's called. And so I'm drinking this one that Connie sent me. I'm drinking this one right now. And yes, I took my vitamin, Connie. Yes, I did. I showed that to you guys yesterday. The shrimp, I'm not cleaning the kitchen. I might load the dishwasher. 
I'll do, I'll do that. So I got my shrimp soaking in some cold water. And I'm looking forward to eating breakfast because it's almost 11.30, almost 12 o'clock now. I'm hungry. A sister is hungry, okay? She's getting kind of hungry. Ugh, all those papers I need to grade. But if I get it done, it's gonna take so much stress off of me. And the kids need a review. So I really need to review to help those babies out for their finals. I mean, it's like I try with them and it's like they're not receptive. I, if my teacher was like, oh, I'm gonna give you hints for everything that's on the test, I'd be like, front row. Yes, uh-huh, uh-huh, I'm, I'm ready. What do you, uh, can you repeat that, Miss Basil? Yes. Can y'all all shut up because I'm listening here. I want a good grade on my test. You guys, you need to be quiet because now you interfering in my education and me making a good grade on the test. Quiet! Quiet on the set! That's how I would be. But these kids, they, they're... Some are into it and some are not. But, I'm go I, you know, as long as I know I do my part, that's all I can do. I can only control me. Right. So, I was listening to my audiobook, right? And um, this lady, she came from nothing and made it. Well, she successful designer, worked her way up. She was grinding in the street and she got, she's a millionaire now, but you know, you can't take the hood out of the girl. You can take the girl out of the hood. So she loves her little thug, her little thug boo thing, right? Sometimes the little, the little thugs, they be kind of looking kind of sexy, whatever, but anyway, you know, I'm off the market. <laughs> Probably for the rest of my life. I don't know. Anyway, that's not what, I, what I'm here for. <laughs> so, it reminded me because she tested her models. It was probably 2 o'clock in the morning. The models have been working so hard. And she tested her models and said, okay, so if y'all want to go, you can go if you want to. And a lot of them ran out the door. I mean, they've been working probably 15 hours. Their feet was hurting, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> but she was testing them. And only seven stayed and two were on their way out the door. And she was like, no, bye-bye. You said you was tired, bye-bye, go on. So then with the seven who remained, I don't know, she could have probably had 30 girls, I don't remember. And with the seven who remained, she did. She worked with the one-on-one and it just made me think of Friday in my classroom, we were, what were we doing Friday? Oh, the kids were taking um, their little quiz or whatever. Um, the kids were taking a little quiz based on a story we had read and they, you know, annotated and stuff a couple of days prior. So Friday, we were supposed to go to the book fair. They only gave us 15 minutes, so I had to um, make reservations for the kids to go to the book fair. And they was like, well, Miss Basil, are we going to go to the book fair? Are we going to go? Are we going to go? Are we going to Half of y'all don't got no money, first of all. Half of y'all, I never see reading a book if you're an early finisher. And then I was like, you know what? I said, what's more important is this little quiz you're taking. But if you feel as though you're going to finish this pink sheet in enough time and it's going to be accurate, there's the door. Feel free to go down to the book fair. You have to know how to prioritize what's important. So I was like, if you feel as though you're good, you're good, good on this pink sheet, there's the door, go down to the book fair. Let me tell you, and that happened with every class. And it was a test. What's more important? You trying to make a decent grade on this easy little assignment or you run it down to a book fair where you only got 15 minutes and by the time you walk out the door, you got about 12 minutes. Nobody left. They put their head down and continued to work on their pink sheet. And I was very, very proud of them. Now, they finished early, although our time slot was up, I gave them a pass for them to go down to, you know, buy a book or whatever, whatever they wanted to do if they were completely finished. And I was very proud. So I was like, God, you know, you got your work done. I don't care. Go ahead. And then another student, he was finished. This was a different class. He was finished. And he wanted to go down to, he just wanted to get out of class, but he said he was done. I kind of like him, right? <laughs> he was like, all right, Miss Basil, I'm a dip. <laughs> I was like, all right, son, see you in a few. <laughs> and then um, early in the class, I mean, this boy, he is in, 
in school suspension all. I don't know what he does. But he was like, Miss Basil, you're the only teacher who likes me. I don't know. It's just something with the behavior kids and the rough kids. I don't I just gravitate to them. I just love them. I don't I don't know why. So sometimes I wonder if I should go back to the DAEP, but I'm telling you now, the DAEP is the behavior school. And I'm telling you now, it can be mentally draining. A lot of teachers don't stay at the behavior schools. It's mentally draining. And then you have that odd student that will curse you out like nobody's business. So I don't know, but mm, I just wanted to tell you that story as I was listening to my, my audio book on my phone and eating some pretzels and getting that video uploaded, putting all my tags. Come on now, y'all need to be watching these videos. <laughs> this don't work. <laughs> all right, so my shrimp should be ready now. I need to peel my shrimp, unload and load the dishwasher. I think Bobby is studying or writing an essay. She had a huge essay she had to write. Matter of fact, let's go see. Let's go see what Bobby's doing. Bobby is hungry. She was like, is the food ready? She looked over the thing. Let's go see what she's doing. Look at the tree from up here. Isn't it pretty? So what I had to do, I had to put this sofa right here in order to accommodate the tree in the center. But this is not how we normally have the sofa. We don't have it like that. Plus it's hard to get in right there. So, but this is how it looks up here. Isn't it pretty? And I still wanna put curtains. I wanna put curtains, but I don't know. This is my bedroom. And I plan to put something up here when I get a few extra dollars. <laughs> I wanna put love or I wanna put joy. I'm not sure yet, but I'm, I'm gonna put, put it up there. Let's see, Bobby. I'm coming in. <laughs> Bobby. What you listen to? You know YouTube will shut us down. Hey, hey. What you doing, Bobby? I'm writing a book report. What's your book report? I can't see the. What's your book report about, Bobby? It's over a book we had to read for my history class that I didn't read. Bobby, why didn't you read it? Because I didn't want to read it. But you made me go out and buy that book, though, didn't you? Yes. Guys, she made me go out and get the book. Because I thought I was going to read it, but I didn't. Guys, y'all want to see my OOTD? Hey, hey, here's my O. You know you got to do the little tuck, right? You always do the little tuck. Ow, my outfit of the day. My outfit of the day. My outfit of the day. A, A, A. I know I'm cute. Y'all want y'all wanna y'all wanna bite this style. I know y'all do. A A A. Oi. <laughs> you like my O O T D Bobby? My O O T D? What's O O T D Bobby? Bobby, what's O O T D? O O T D. What's your outfit of the day, Bobby? No. <laughs> no, no. no. You don't right rock your OOTD? No, right now. No, right now. Say OOTD. <laughs> OOTD. Can you say that? Uh, Let me get back here, Bobby. Chop. Let me see my car outside. Oh, yeah, I can't see. There she is. All right. Okay. Look, y'all, I don't be leaving no keys out in this house. Now, that's terrible. I gotta hide my keys, hide my wife, hide my kids. We lock our doors. We should have to live like that. I know y'all, I ain't talking about that. I ain't talking about that, but okay? I ain't talking about that, though, okay? <sighs> okay? I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to talk like that. Oh, y'all still watch my channel? I don't do it. 
YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Oh, why am I talk like that? Everybody have a seat. Today's last day. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Today's lesson we got me learning about writing complete goddamn sentences. <laughs> yeah, Bob, why your bed be looking like that though, Shorty? Why your bed looking like that, Shorty? Let me tell you what the girls do. The girls do not like to get under the sheets. They don't like to get under the mattress. Or, um, they don't like to get under the blankets to is sleep on their sheets. They sleep on top of the blankets, but then put blankets on top of them. So her bed is always made. She just has to fold these up, which makes absolutely <laughs> no sense. So does your body ever touch your sheets, Bobby? Under this? Yes. So what is the purpose? I just washed this one. This is like... All right, let me go make some breakfast. Well, at this point, it's brunch. What was that? Yes, yes, yes. Why don't you come help, Bobby? How about that? Maybe the shrimp, they're ready now. Let's see. See, you gotta empty the dishwasher and then load all the stuff. My shrimp should be ready. All right, guys, let me get to work up in this kitchen. This is already gonna turn. Oh, I forgot to drink my, my, my juice thing. Oh, shoot. Why y'all ain't tell me? I'm busy trying to upload videos that nobody watches. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. And look, I need to do something with this mess in the dining room all right let me i don't know y'all let me figure it out bobby made me a smoothie i didn't want it thank you though thank you though b i'm gonna be mukbanging my shrimp and grits <laughs> you know what no y'all gotta watch my uh food channel to find out what i'm talking about for the shrimp and grits make sure you subscribe hit your post notifications for Basilicious Bites, baby. Basilicious Bites. Basilicious Bites. Isn't that pretty?